dear viewers today we will study about enzyme in enzyme first we will study about its definition then we will study holoenzyme coenzyme cofactor apoenzyme and prostatic group after that we will study nomenclature of enzyme its classification and what is isozymes so what is enzymes enzymes are biocatalyst we know that in chemical reaction catalyst are required to enhance the rate of reaction and also same time in absence of catalyst same certain reaction doesn't happen similarly in our biological system enzyme plays same role enzyme act as a biocatalyst so in presence of this biocatalyst certain biochemical reactions happen and give product enzymes are highly specific and have great catalytic power why enzymes are highly specific look at this figure here you can see enzymes have their active site and uh, substrate which exactly match with the active site shape get fit into this enzyme and converted into product if substrate structure doesn't match with the active site of enzyme then it will not bind and it will not give you product so that's why enzymes are highly specific for their reactivity toward substrate enzymes have great catalytic power i'm giving you example like hydrolytic reaction in chemistry labs it take 100 degree celsius temperature and two days of time but if you perform same hydrolytic reaction in presence of enzyme it happens in room temperature and it happens within few minutes so they have a great catalytic power so we know that enzymes are made up of protein so you can say all enzymes are protein but there are some exception and these exception is ribozymes so ribozymes are rna molecule that have ability to catalyze specific biochemical reaction okay enzymes are protein so we know that protein has a large or high molecular weight so the molecular weight of enzyme can be in the range of 2000 to 1 million dalton so we know that proteins are made up of amino acid and if you heat amino acid their conformation change so if amino acid conformation change then structure of protein will change and it also result change in structure of enzyme this process is called denaturation here you can see this is normal protein when you provide extreme condition like high temperature or uh, abnormal ph abnormal ph i want to say for example enzymes are very good at uh, ph 7.4 if you provide very extreme acidic ph or a very extreme alkaline ph then the nature of this normal protein will change and it will become a denatured protein so what is cofactors some enzymes remain in inactive form but when they bind with certain all organic molecules these organic molecules are called coenzyme or when they bind with metal ions such as iron manganese zinc magnesium these inactive enzyme converted into active enzyme so these organic molecule and metal ion which activate inactive enzymes are called cofactors what is hollow enzyme so combination of enzyme and cofactor is called hollow enzyme so what is apoenzyme apoenzyme is the inactive form of enzyme or you can say protein portion which is inactive form which require cofactor to get activate so in this figure you will understand this is apoenzyme apoenzyme is the protein portion so this is inactive form of enzyme now this will bind with coenzyme and when it will bind with coenzyme it will become activated form and we know that uh, enzyme plus cofactor is called hollow enzyme and this is active form and substrate will bind here and convert into product so three portions are there apoenzyme which is in active form of enzyme coenzyme is useful to activate 
this apoenzyme and holoenzyme is the combination of both apoenzyme and cofactor so now we will study some example of coenzyme so these are the examples like this is the coenzyme and these coenzymes are made from these precursor vitamins and these coenzyme perform these functions biocytin ko aap kaise yaad rakh sakte hain kis iska precursor vitamin kaun sa hoga biocytin se biotin coenzyme b12 we know that there is a vitamin b12 similarly flavin adenine dinucleotide there is a riboflavin coenzyme a pantothenic acid and nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide nico se aap yaad rakh sakte hain niacin एंड पायरिडोक्सल से पायरिडोक्सिन थायमिन पायरोफॉस्फेटिस इसमें थायमिन एंड टेट्राहाइड्रोफोलेट यू विल रिमेंबर इट फ्रॉम फॉलिक एसिड ओके एंड दियर फंक्शन को इंजाइम बी ट्वेल्व ट्रांसफर ऑफ अल्काइल ग्रुप को इंजाइम ए ट्रांसफर ऑफ असाइल एंड अल्काइल ग्रुप बायोसाइटिन रोल इज ट्रांसफर ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड एंड फ्लेविन एडिन डायनिक्लोटाइड रोल इज ट्रांसफर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन एन ए डी हैज ट्रांस रोल इन ट्रांसफर ऑफ हाइड्राइड पायरेड्रोक्सल फॉस्फेट ट्रांसफर ऑफ अमीनो ग्रुप थायमिन ट्रांसफर ऑफ अल्डीहाइड एंड टेट्राहाइड्रोफोलेट ट्रांसफर ऑफ वन कार्बन ग्रुप ओके सो यू कैन सी कोइंजाइम परफॉर्म कैटलिसिस ट्रांजियंटली एंड दे हैव रोल इन ट्रांसफर ऑफ सम फंक्शनल ग्रुप्स ओके सो एग्जाम्पल ऑफ मेटल आयंस we checked as a cofactor for enzymes are so you have to remember this thing iron ka role hota hai catalase mein copper ka cytochrome oxidase magnesium is in dna polymerase manganese in arginase potassium is in pyruvate kinase molybdenum is in nitrogenase and nitrate reductase zinc is in carbonic anhydrase and nickel is in urease so now coenzyme and metal ion when they bound with enzyme with covalent bond then it is called prosthetic group now we will study nomenclature of enzyme earlier whenever scientist discover enzyme then they named the enzyme name in arbitrary manner for example pepsin trypsin chymotrypsin you don't know what kind of function they perform uh, you don't know from which source they isolated this enzymes so later on that some trivial name started like lipase you know that this enzyme act on lipid okay ase means enzyme it represent enzyme and this lip means lipid so lipase enzyme act on lipid similarly nuclease enzyme act on nucleic acid lactase enzyme act on lactose up now after that number of enzyme got discovered so international union of biochemistry they sit and created enzyme commission in 1961 so in 1964 this enzyme commission they divided enzymes into six major classes and these classes are one oxidoreductase two transferases Three hydrolases, four lyases, five isomerases, and six ligases. From oxidoreductase, you know that it can perform oxidation and reduction reaction. Transferases role is transfer of one functional group from one compound to another compound. Here you can see the X group is transferring from A to B in the product. Similarly, hydrolases. Hydrolases role is in hydrolysis of compound here you can see a and b get hydrolyzed lyase lyase role is in addition and elimination reaction isomerases role is in interconversion of isomer for example a is converted into a prime and ligases role is in condensation for example a substrate react with b in presence of ligases enzyme give you a and b product which has one new bond formation okay so example of oxido reductase are alcohol dehydrogenase transferase is example is hexokinase hydrolysis example is lipase lyase is example is aldolase isomerase example is triose phosphate isomerase and ligase is example is glutamine synthetase 
so here you can see e dot c dot one point one point one point one point and here e dot c dot two point seven point one point one point what is the meaning of this e dot c e dot c is enzyme commission this two represent the exokinase belongs to transferases class so transferase is at number two so this two is this one next is seven seven represent subclass so hexokinase belong to subclass of transferase which is at seventh number then uh, one point one point these are the third di digit represent sub sub subclass and fourth digit represent the individual enzyme so what is isozyme many enzymes are present in multiple form more than one molecular form in same species tissue or even in same cell these enzymes are called isoenzymes or isozymes for example there is enzyme a that enzyme can exist in a1 a2 a3 a4 form within same cell tissue or within same species so you can understand from this figure here you can see this is one enzyme so this enzyme looking like this but there is one small difference this enzyme also look like this but there is small difference okay so isoenzyme catalyze the same reaction but have different amino acid composition hence possess different physiochemical properties so if the amino acid composition is different it is understandable that their physiochemical property will be different but they have different amino acid but they perform same reaction from this picture you will understand here you can see this one is exactly matching with this one but they are different in term of color because they have different amino acid composition inside them but they are eating same substrate and converting this same substrate into product here you can see this purple color light blue color and green color isozymes converting same reactant into product so some example of uh, isozymes are glycolytic enzyme like hexokinase it exists in four different form lactate dehydrogenase which perform anaerobic glucose metabolism has two isozymes in human one is present in heart and other is present in skeleton muscle so here I will finish today's topic on enzymes. Thank you for watching this video guys.